Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Cecilia Williams, and I am a member of New Rochelle United Methodist Church, where our pastor is Reverend Dr. Piola Hicks. It is wonderful to be here. I met, or the team met 914 United approximately two and a half years ago, and we did everything by Zoom. <laughs> and this is amazing. In a short time, where 914 United has come. <laughs> With that, let us pray. A gracious God, we give you thanks for allowing us to gather today to celebrate and acknowledge that all things are the work of your hand. We thank you for the organization 914 United. We ask for your blessings upon this new space and the vision to expose, educate, and empower those who enter the doors of this learning design. Continue to equip the leaders with the tools needed to reach those who are often overlooked or forgotten. Let every decision they make be one that will bring them closer to their mission. We thank you for touching the heart and mind of those who have made this day possible. Thank you for those who are here to support this initiative. Today we are witnessing love, justice, and service in action. With these powerful words, love, justice, and service, all things are possible. And may God continue to bless the leadership team, but most of all, those whom they serve. It is in the name of our Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for showing up. We appreciate you all taking the time to be here today. My name is Deanna Robinson. I'm a councilwoman for District 1 in the city of Yonkers, but I am a former member of 914 United and a forever supporter and, and team member for the rest of my life. And I love this team dearly. This is family to me. So it's only right I show up and show out. So I'm gonna be your MC for today's ribbon cutting and grand opening ceremony. Quickly, I am going to announce some of the dignitaries and people we have here with us. I would ask that you hold your applause till the end because the list is a little lengthy, so I'm gonna go through it. Of course, we have Mayor Mike Spano. We have New York Senator Shelley Mayer. County Legislator Shanae Williams, County Legislator Jimmy Nolan. Uh, we have a representative, Alexia, from Council President uh, Lakeisha Collins Bellamy's office. We have the Bronxville Rotary Club, the Barack Obama School, DCJ, um, D, sorry, DCJ, as um, Ms. Garcia is here. We have Family Services of Westchester, New Rochelle Community Justice Center, Choice of NY, YSOW, LaCrea, who I saw in the audience, hey, good to see you, Westchester Community Foundation, the Redlick, am I saying it right? Redlick Horowitz Foundation, Margaret and John, who are the landlords of this location, thank you, MBK, Greg Joyner, YMCA, the Snug Team, and the Peace Mobile, Sade, I saw you. Um, the non-for-profit Westchester, non-for-profit of Westchester, West Hab, Richard Nightingale, Joe McCoy from Hudson Valley. We have Congressman Bowman, New Rochelle Methodist Church, Que Paso Latina X, Yonkers Knockouts. We are, we are one. Patty, I saw you. Hi, Patty. Um, Majority Leader John Rubo, Councilwoman Corazon Pineda Isaac, Woodfield Detention Center, WC Youth Bureau, Morganized LLC, Reverend Norman, the Director of Veteran Services, and I think that concludes, I'm sorry, oh, Steve Sansone, the Commissioner of Parks and Rec, 
And if I forgot anybody, I apologize. We can announce you later on. Cluster. Um, cluster. Oh, Cluster. Cluster is with us as well. Hello. And we are going to bring up, you can applaud now, by the way. <laughs> and with that applaud, we're going to bring up our mayor, Mike Spano. Thank you, Councilwoman. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Four years, uh, Jonathan, John, uh, four years of hard work and dedication, and look what they've accomplished. Let's give them another round of applause. Yeah. And also, know that when you look at the board, you look at 914 Incorporated, you look at the power that's in that group and the ability to force change, I, I couldn't be more excited about what you're going to be able to accomplish here, uh, educating our children. Uh, giving them uh, the ability to empower them so that they can achieve their goals. And and so, um, sorry, thanks, Jeff. I'm trying to make sure I talk to the mic. Did everybody hear you okay? So to, to empower our youth. In today's world, we all know, it's kind of a political crazy world. <laughs> we, we could, we, we're sometimes we're a little nervous about where everybody stands, but we know one thing, we know that we have good, solid, hard-working kids uh, who, who want a future. And we just have to give them the tools so we can empower them so they can do the things and accomplish the goals they want to accomplish. And that's what we see happening with my brother's keeper. And that's what we have with different programs that are happening all across the city. Empowering our youth. Look at that. Let's hear it for now. one. So I'm gonna turn it back. <laughs> hey, listen, we playing in the work. I'm gonna David turn it back. We, by the way, uh, county legislator David Tubiello is here. So I think we got every county legislator now. We're, oh, we're missing Jose Alvarado. Uh, but but all the elected are here today. Why? Because we believe in what you're doing. Uh, it's important what you're doing, and we want to be here as you continue to march on and to take care of the, the precious youth, because at the end of the day, they're going to be taking care of us. Bye. So we have to make sure that they have the right future, and you're, you're helping put them there. Thank you, everyone. Nice to see you. Senator Shelley Mayer, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you so much. And you know, what transformative power 914 United has? I remember the first time we met, uh, I think it was pre-COVID. No, it was during it was COVID. During, during COVID. COVID. During, COVID. Right. during COVID, in a food distribution, yeah. and yeah. just on the front lines of providing what our community needs. But to have this fantastic space, and thank you, landlords, for making that happen, this fantastic space where lives will be changed. And as the mayor said, the focus will be on young people, the young people of our community. We have so much confidence in their ability but they need a helping hand sometimes. They need a loving guide. They need the kind of power that 914 United has. And I know that that will absolutely change lives for the better. So I'm just thrilled that you are here. Uh, I am thrilled that you are on Central Avenue in a place where there is a comfort zone for so many people, is public transportation. This is just an awesome place and an incredible opportunity. So thank you and congratulations on behalf of the Senate. Okay, you guys are already standing, so I don't have to make you stand up. But big round of applause for the founder and my brother, Jonathan Alvarez. Yay! Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I want my team to stand behind me. Freddie Medina, please come on up. Samil Sutton, please come on up. Yes, my team, our volunteers, our mentees. Right? You know, I just want to first say that today won't be possible without these individuals who stand behind me. It was because of us, together. Ashley as well. Alana, please come on up. You played a major role in our work. Yes, you know, it takes a village to raise a child, right? But it takes a connected village to create greater impact. So I want you to see these faces, because without them, there's no me. Without us, there's no 914 United. So give them a quick round of applause as well. Oh. It's all right. You good? So today is a soft opening of the Leaders Lab. The Leaders Lab is, as it was said earlier, is to demonstrate our mission, which is to expose individuals, our youth, to positive influences, to educate them on what they need to know to get where they need to be, and empower them with the resources and tools that they need to become successful. 
The three E's are really close to all of our hearts as we are all, most of us from Yonkers, came to the school district and understand the importance of disrupting the cycles of violence, the importance of positive influences in a space where there's nothing but negativity. This Leader Lab is gonna demonstrate how we can offset that and it takes us together to do that. So today we wanna welcome you to our soft opening, right, where there's gonna be a lot of programs held in this space, right, and today's even more important than the fact that just of a soft opening, Tomorrow is now one for United's fourth birthday. Woo! Let's give a round of applause for that. In 2020, the mission was birthed and it started with vision and courage. And today you see the manifestation when vision and courage is aligned. So thank you all to, for coming to our soft opening and seeing the results of our work. I appreciate you. My other brother. John Carrera, co-founder. Thank you, thank you. I'll be very brief. Um, I was just talking to the commissioner a second ago, and I was compelled to just look at what's happening here, right? 2020, like Jonathan said, it was just an idea, right? 2021, it was action. 2022 was action. 2023 was determination. And then we started seeing the fruits of our labor. 2024, we now have a home. That is because of everyone that's present here and some that aren't. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to do the work that we do and even have a new place to call home. So I want to give it up to you guys and say thank you. We appreciate it and the support. It goes a long way, right? Because it's not about us, it's about our youth and those that need a second chance, right? Second chance month is, is April. And that's what is important. It's about second chance and helping, helping those that are in need. Thank you. Next up, I'm gonna keep saying my brother or my sister or my family because this is truly part of my family. So we have one of our strong team members, Daniel Gomez. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, hello everyone, um, I'm the community outreach coordinator for now for United and I just have like one word and it's gratitude. Like I'm just so grateful, you know, to be able to share this space with you guys, to share this milestone moment with you guys. And we were just some kids from South Yonkers with a dream. We never even thought that we'd be able to do this. Four years ago, three years ago, we were just having this conversation. Like, yo, imagine we get an office space and we could bring all our mentees there to run programs and play video games and, you know, talk and read books and just build with each other, you know, pour into each other. Because as mentors, we pour into our mentees and our mentees pour back into us. We make each other great, right? So I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been supporting our mission thus far everybody from the beginning and you know and our fearless leader Jonathan Alvarez for guiding the way and showing us you know there's, there's a better way for all of us for the mentors for the mentees all of us are growing each and every single day and now we got the leaders lab and we're about to do big things in 2024 stay tuned Thank you. I love that we are keeping this short and sweet. We are sweet. You, short and sweet. Uh, next up, my sis, Diana Rosa, also yes. a yes. member of Nama for United. Hello, everyone. I'm Diana Rosa, peer support and advocate, a peer support advocate and mentor with Nama for United. I've been with you guys since the beginning. We've, we've, we've really become a family. And what I want to say here is that this space not only embodies support and encouragement, but it's also a place of nurture for our youth. I think that's very important when we try to touch these um, you know, teenagers that are growing up in different environments. This is a place for them to come and call home and know that they're safe and that they're you know, surrounded by people who have been in different walks of life but have you know, really accomplished success at some point. So thank you guys all for your support for your encouragement. Um, we've, we look forward to so much coming, coming uh, in the next few years. Yeah. Next up, I'd like to call up John and Margaret to say a few words. We are super grateful for you guys for allowing us into this yeah. space. Yeah. Woo! Superman. When I, first, <clears throat> when I first came into the parking lot and I met John and Jonathan, I was trying to remember, do I know my karate when I saw that? <laughs> <laughs> Two big guys are around me. <laughs> but I'm very happy to be part of it. Touched my heart. Thank you guys. Mm. Yeah. I didn't realize how smart I was. 
And he's associated with these guys. Very proud of them, very proud of them. Hi everyone, I'm Margaret. We have physical therapy office here and we met John and Jonathan and they asked us to be uh, part of our building and part of our tenants. And we met a lot of people who were trying to interview who should be a good fit for us. And as soon as they mentioned the word rehab, um, it hit home with us. We are all about rehab. They're rehabbing people and young people and giving them a chance. And I'm all about people get having first chance, first doors open. All you need is one door to open, and the rest is up to you, what you do with it. And these guys are doing that one door open for you. So we're very proud of them, and we wish them a lot of luck. And they're great people. Thank you. Thank you. It's a lot of emotion today. We have, like they said, people who have been with us from the beginning. My, my dad, Reverend Norman. County legislator Shanae Williams, just Senator, you came to my house to drop off a check. Yeah. We were outside during COVID, PPE, get food drives, just in the rain, just out really serving the people. And, and that's why it's so emotional for us to be here today because this is, these were things we spoke about from day one, things we only spoke about, and now we've seen these dreams come to fruition. So I would. I want to say, yeah, say one more thing absolutely. real quick for the you know, youth and that's present. I just want y'all to look around to the youth who are here to see what's going on here today. Everyone around you, that's your village. And that village can continue growing and growing. So if the one thing I want you to walk away with here today from seeing and hearing these conversations is that this village does exist and we are connected on your behalf. Thank you. Three, two, one.